paint the landscape for me, uh, you know, as a working actor cutting his teeth in the early days and landing a couple of Hallmark, you know, legendary moments that have since kind yeah. of become like pop culture, part of the pop culture Bible, yeah. right? Yeah. Now, what's it what's it like for a guy like you to get a job? And, and when you get these jobs, you know, Thundercats, whatever you want to call it, do you do you, are you do you do you understand at the time like what this could mean to the kids of America or are you just happy to get the paycheck and like whatever and all? And then was it was it later that it was kind of a busload of craziness? Well, you know, you're in the business. You know what, what I'm talking about. You get uh, you you uh, audition for jobs. You know, yeah. uh, my agent, my agent will call me uh, almost every day and say, "Tomorrow you're going here for an audition, and tomorrow at two o'clock you're going to record this thing that you're auditioned for last week or whatever." And um, you go audition for it and. Uh, if you get it, you'll know within a couple of days. And if you don't hear from them, you know you're not going to get it. So you just go and move on to something else, you know. And when and when, when I got the the, uh, the call about Thundercats, this is back in 80, 83, actually, very late 83, although it didn't go in the air until 85. Um, uh, first of all, I was surprised because at that point, there, there were no um, animated, uh, not much animation being done in New York. It was all out in L.A. where you're at. And... Um, uh, so we were surprised that uh, the rest of the people they hired and I that, that uh, they were doing in New York and t terribly happy, you know. And so we show up the first day and, 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 and uh, two or three days in, we're recording and we're having lunch and we start talking about, you know, this this thing uh, got a shot. I think it's it's written really well. Uh, then when we heard the the music, you know, I mean that music was a, a big part of the show if you, if you think back on it. Uh, the other animated cartoon series, if you will, uh, had good music. But this was this was the first one. I think it used heavy metal and, a, you know, a real pumping sound. And of course, that got the kids uh, going, too. And then but, but the thing is, you never know when you're recording something, uh, even after you've recorded it for a while, before it gets on the air. And in, until this, uh, there's been enough time for the ratings to come back in, you don't know if you've got a hit or not. Uh, we could tell after about six months, I think, that the, the ratings were really, really good. And the first indication I got that we really had a, a big hit was uh, was Christmas shopping one year. Uh, Toys R Us, rest in peace. And uh, there were a couple of young guys um, at the, um, well, first of all, I walked into the Toys R Us and uh, I had been there a few weeks before. And I noticed that they, there was like one big aisle of Thundercats, a big aisle of He-Man stuff, you know, all the figures and the paraphernalia. And then mutant turtles, whatever else was, you know, around at that time. And uh, but two weeks before Christmas, I go back in and I see there's three aisles of Thundercat stuff. And I thought, oh, man, this thing must be a hit, you know. And uh, so I'm walking down the aisle. There are two young guys, maybe seven to ten years old, looking at the action figures. And I couldn't help myself. But I, I listened to him. One of them said, I'm going to get Panthro. He's, he's the coolest one, you know. The other guy says, no, I'm going to be Tiger. I'm going to buy the Tiger. I couldn't help myself. I said, hey, guys, you should get lion -O. You know, he's the guy who says, Thundercats, oh! And they just looked at me like, you know, who's this pervert? <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> so uh, I said, okay, I walked away. And I could hear one of them behind me say to the other one, he doesn't even sound like lion <laughs> Oh, man. You know, the kids will build you up and the kids will tear you down. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They were known as Lucifer and the men with painted faces when they burned New Orleans to the ground. And when they sacked Panama, I knew that my road to redemption would be paved with tombstones. And by the time they brought the apocalypse to West Africa and the Indian Ocean. I would come to know two words with biblical significance. No quarter. No quarter. Kill all masters. Rated R. Coming soon. Available on all platforms.
visit nocorderqlmasters.com.